Here we go again and welcome back and here's another edition with me we're talking about the fiddle leaf fig today and uh, this one is my seven and a half foot fiddle leaf fig in all its glory it's taken over the corner of my living room as we speak it's really not uh caring about how much space it takes up or what uh, purpose it serves in my apartment so I'm going to tell you what I have been doing that to take care of it, which is all pretty simple. So many of you struggle with the fiddly fig and what you're supposed to do with it. Why isn't it acting the way you want it to act? What are the hurdles and the uh, overcomings that you're dealing with? Well, I'm going to settle all of that today. But once again, before I get into all this video content, why don't you smash that like button? hit subscribe, leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what your deal is with your fiddly fig and we'll address all of that right first and foremost here today. So back to this one, not sure if you got a good shot of it. There's most of the fiddle and it's really taken off. I, uh, interesting side note, I got this fiddle at Home Depot. There was two of them, matter of fact, in a pot. And what I did was eventually it started growing. It was growing kind of slow and then they just took off. Well, I had them outside in a um, partial sun environment. It was summertime. And I thought, you know, this would be a great opportunity to just go ahead and divide them. So I, I took all the soil off the root ball, dunked them in some lukewarm water, the root ball that is, and gently massaged the two apart and made them both individual fiddles onto themselves. I sold the other one, made a pretty penny off of that. And uh, cause I was moving, it was a perfect way to uh, fundraise for the new, uh, new pad. And what ended up happening is this one just continued to grow and grow. I've been having to repot this one every year cause its growth rate is so uncontrollable that right now it's in i think a 14 or probably a 16 inch pot i started it in a uh, like an 8 or a 12 inch pot so it's just been bumping up incrementally year after year and i haven't had any issues with it at all obviously from what i'm telling you all i really did was just give it tons of bright sunlight you know fiddles they that's the main thing they need first and foremost is to just have a bright environment. As you see here, I'm in a south facing window and it's butt up next to the window. South facing, there's really no obstructions outside. And so it's just getting direct rays as much as possible. Don't worry about it, it can handle it. Some people say, oh, they don't do well in a corner. Well, mine's in a corner and it's kicking butt. Also, you're gonna want to, uh, dust those leaves off those leaves are like big solar panels and the more you dust them off the better growth you're going to get however just because you're giving it tons of light doesn't mean you have to give this tons of water this is where some of you guys are messing up i already know you are and you know who you are and it's okay you can leave what you're doing in the comments we're not going to judge we're just going to help you get through it but you're probably watering too much. I could tell right now. Stop it. It's okay. You, I know you love your plant, but you can just let it dry out. Ignore it for a little while. Go on a trip, you know, go across the country. It'll probably be fine. These things, their environment is somewhat arid. And so they can take periods of time of, of, of drought, especially because these leaves, they hold tons of water inside them the leaves and the stems so you can really back off on the watering let it dry two-thirds of the way out a half of the way out i mean i wouldn't even doubt if mine dries completely 
in between waterings. And that's where I get a lot of rapid root growth because when you let it dry out, the roots go in search for water. They expand, which means your plant grows in relation. So I did that and the soil I use, go out there and get yourself some happy frog. I'll say that right now. Grab some happy frog, your plant will love you for it. Do that, give it good humidity, you know, I'm sure the ones of you who are out there watching, you see that I am a avid proponent of using pebble trays. Grab a pebble tray, put a big one underneath there, and just uh, try to keep water in it as much as you can. It'll uh, definitely thank you for that. If not, missed it, you know, just go around, spray it off with some water, just whenever you think about it or whenever you see it doesn't have to be every day, doesn't have to be, you know, three times a day. I've heard every end of the spectrum. Just make sure it's in a humid environment. It's definitely gonna know when it is or when it's not, and it's gonna let you know. If it's too dry, the leaves are gonna start dropping off. And you're gonna see spots and blotches and stuff like that. So, yeah, just whatever you're doing that's, uh, it's not liking, cut it out. I'm pretty much telling you everything you need to know. I think this one is really, it kind of gets a bad name as being like a finicky plant. For me, you know, this isn't my only fiddle and none of them have any issues. It's really just the light thing. Make sure you get tons of light. I really, you know, want to hammer that home. And if you're not getting enough light, you're going to see that you know, leaves are dropping, or it's getting leggy, or um, discoloration. Uh, there might be yellowing or browning of the leaves, which is generally a sign of irregular watering or inadequate humidity. So, you know, other than that, just go out there and grab one if you don't have one already. Uh, this is a plant that's always in like interior design magazines it's always in i mean you can even find them in walmart now but they're probably the most popular house plant because who doesn't love those big fiddle shaped leaves that are bigger than my head and uh it's just kind of like a jack and the beanstalk it just keeps going up and eventually i will probably have to cut this uh tip here it's already reached the ceiling twice and so I just cut the top. You can stick it in water, leave just one to two leaves mo at max in water, you know, on the stem in the water and propagate it. You'll see new roots popping out in about one to two months. And you can just pop that in some soil. You'll have yourself a brand new plant, which you can rather you know put more than one in a pot you can give that away you know to a friend or whatnot so really fun real versatile real um common popular plant that's you know everybody's favorite who wouldn't love it why don't you go and get one or if you have one already give him give it a comment like subscribe and tune in for my next video and thanks again for watching. See you on the next one.